The HAL Tejas and the JF-17 Thunder are both extraordinary fighter jets in their own right. Now we're adding this episode to our 10 facts video series here on FTD Facts and the info is going to be based on various sources like militaryfactory.com, financialexpress.com as well as diplomat.com and more. Welcome back guys to another episode. My name is Leroy Kenton and let's look at 10 differences between the HAL Tejas and the JF-17 Thunder. I know this seems like it's a never ending trending topic. So the difference at number 10 I'm going to start off with is the history. Let's start off with the Hal Tejas. So India has long bought its fighter jets from countries like Russia, France, as well as Britain under a license agreement to manufacture it locally by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. However, back in the 1980s, HAL, H-A-L, which stands for the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, they started the Light Combat Aircraft or the LCA program to replace the aging Soviet MiG-21. And one of India's former prime ministers gave the name Tejas to this fighter jet. And this was an indigenously built fighter aircraft that was inducted into the Indian Air Force. And the first Tejas squadron was formed in the year 2016. And that was called the Flying Daggers. Now moving on to the JF-17 Thunder, Pakistan had long been dependent on China, the United States, as well as Russia for their air firepower. But in 1995, Pakistan and China, they signed an agreement for joint design and development of a new fighter jet. Now the result was the JF-17 Thunder or the CACFC-1 Shaolong. And that by the way is a name used in China. But for this episode, we're sticking to the JF-17 Thunder. Now this craft was primarily developed to meet Pakistan's Air Force's requirement for an affordable, modern, multi-role combat aircraft. So with that all said, Ooh. at number nine, let's take a look at the difference, the difference in the type of aircraft. So the HAL Tejas, it's a single engine Delta Wing fourth generation fighter jet. It's also a multi-role light fighter jet. And the jet was designed by the Aeronautical Development Agency or ADA for short as well as like I mentioned in fact number 10, the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited or HAL for the Indian Air Force as well as the Indian Navy. Now moving on to the PAC JF-17 Thunder as its full name is called. It's a lightweight single engine multi-role combat aircraft and this aircraft was also developed by two companies as well but it was a joint effort by Pakistan Aeronautics Complex, that's where we get the PAC from, and the Chengdu Aircraft Corp operation or the CAC of China. So that's why China's version has the CAC at the beginning of its name. So how big are these aircrafts anyways? Let's take a look to see how they match up side by side. You may be able to tell when you look at images of these jets side by side that the JF-17 Thunder is a bit larger in size, but when it comes to specific dimensions, this is how the aircraft break down. So for the HAL Tejas, they have a length of 43.31 feet, which equals 13. 0.20 meters. Its width is 26.90 feet or 8.20 meters and its height is 14.44 feet or 4.40 meters. For the JF-17 Thunder, their length is 48.98 feet or 14.93 meters. Its width is 31 feet or 9.45 meters and it has a height of 15.49 feet which equals 4.72 meters. The difference at number seven Whoa. is their weapon systems. So check this out. The Tejas is designed to carry air-to-air, air-to-surface, precision-guided, and stand-off weaponry. The Tejas can carry long-range, beyond-visual-range weapons as well. And according to the ADA, the HAL Tejas, it can fire highly agile, high-off, boresight missiles and these really take on a whole new level of accuracy when it comes to close combat threats. According to the PAC now for the JF-17 Thunder, it's capable of carrying weapons like beyond visual range active missiles, highly agile imaging infrared short range missiles, air to sea missiles, anti-radiation missiles, laser guided weapons, runway penetration bombs, general purpose bombs, training bombs, and it has a 23 millimeter double barrel gun. When it comes to the speed of these aircraft, they're both incredibly fast. The HAL Tejas has a max speed of 1,370 miles per hour or 2,205 kilometers per hour. 
And when it comes to the JF-17 Thunder, it has a top speed of 1,218 miles per hour or 1,960 kilometers an hour. So guys, just like that, we reached halfway in this episode. We saw five differences. We got five more to go. But just a reminder, guys, if you're enjoying this episode so far, be sure to leave a like on this video. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, leave a thumbs up. It also helps more people see our videos. And if it's your first time here to the channel, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Stick around a while because we bring you facts every single day. That's right, we post videos all the time, non-stop. We do not miss a day here on FTD Facts. Now let's take a look at the difference at number five, the operators. So the JF-17 Thunder is operated by three countries, Myanmar, Nigeria, and of course, Pakistan. These militaries operate the JF-17 Thunder. But for the Hal Tejas, since it's an indigenously created aircraft, its only operator is the military of India. The difference at number four, let's look at the roles of these aircraft. So as I mentioned earlier in this video at number nine, the JF-17 Thunder is a combat aircraft and the HAL Tejas is a fighter jet. So some of the roles kind of vary, but what's the big difference anyways? It can be a little tricky, so let me break it down for you. So a multi-role combat aircraft or an MRCA like the JF-17 Thunder is a combat aircraft that can perform various roles in combat. Now a multi-role fighter jet like the HAL Tejas is a multi-role combat aircraft that is also, at the same time, a fighter aircraft. So pretty much it's an aircraft that can carry out various roles, including, among other things, the role of air-to-air -air combat. So the primary role of the HAL Tejas is as a fighter jet for air-to-air -air combat, okay? And the JF-17 Thunder is also a fighter jet, but it's more equipped to take on other roles. So specifically, the HAL Tejas really is used for interception, anti-ship warfare, as well as Navy and maritime usage. Now, the JF-17 Thunder, a little bit more rounded in what it can do. Like I mentioned, it does operate as a fighter jet. It also can be used for ground attack, as well as close air support, which is also known as CA as well as it has anti-ship capabilities. Difference at number three we want to look at is the service ceiling for these aircraft. And by the way, if you're not familiar with that term, the service ceiling is the maximum usable altitude of any aircraft. So the JF-17 Thunder has a service ceiling of 55,512 feet or 16,920 meters, which also equals to 10.51 miles. For the Hal Tejas, their service ceiling is not as high. It's at 52,000 493 feet or 16,000 meters, which is equivalent to 9.94 miles. Let's also look at the range of these aircraft. And the range, by the way, is how far these aircraft can travel on a particular tank of fuel. But also in some cases, uh, weather and atmospheric conditions can also affect the range of an aircraft. The JF-17 Thunder is a beast. It has a range of 2,164 miles, which equals 3,482 kilometers. The HAL Tejas, their range is less at 1,056 miles and 1,700 kilometers. And finally, the difference at number one is the difference in the Variance. So according to militaryfactory.com, the HAL Tejas has 26 total variants, all with various different upgrades, features, and capabilities. But for the JF-17 Thunder, they have just half of that total, and it sits at just 12 variants. Now, I'm not going to go through all the different variants in this episode. That could be a whole new episode in and of itself. But I'll link to two pages down below in the video description section where you can see all that info and more. All right, guys, so that was a look at 10 differences between the HAL Tejas and the JF-17 Thunder. Definitely leave your thoughts and comments down below. If you want to see us do more military videos, I know we used to do a lot more military videos, but over time, it was kind of like, hmm, you guys weren't really feeling them as much, so we decided to branch off more into cultures and countries and religions and things like that. But again, if you want to see more videos like this, we're more than happy to do the research and share it with you here on FTD Facts. With that said, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I'll leave you with a recommended episode at the end screen, so tap that and enjoy it once you see it. My name is Leroy Kenton, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. The JF-17 cockpit was designed keeping this in mind, allowing pilots to perform their duties with utmost ease and flexibility to cater to evolving scenarios.